in the secret place of the Most High. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I... My dear friends, our brothers and sisters in the Lord, we have been listening to the social media, we've been listening to news telling us how terrible the situation is. But today we just want to pause and listen to God also. It's not just about breaking news. We need to listen to the good news also. In Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, the Lord says, Fear not, for I will be with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen and uphold you with my victorious right hand. And the word of the Lord also tells us in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5, I am your God. I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. Psalm 46 from verse 1 to 3, God is for us a refuge and strength. A mighty stronghold in times of distress, so we shall not fear, even though the earth should fall, even though the mountain should fall into the depth of the sea, even though the waters rage and foam, and the mountain be shaken by his waves. And so we just want to listen to the Lord. We want to tell the problem we have want to tell our distress how great is our God. So for once, we are shifting from what's the calamity before us. We want to shift our focus to the greatness of our God. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 26 says, Lift up your eyes and see the heavens. It is the Lord who has arranged them by his strength because he's mighty in power and no one is missing the bible tells us in psalm 115 verse 3 our god is in heaven he does whatever he wills we read also in the word of god in psalm 33 verse 9 he commanded and they were made he spoke and they were firmly established and in Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, he revealed himself to Abraham. I am Yahweh El Shaddai, the Lord, the Almighty. So just be still and know that he is God. to pray also for all those going through one health challenge or the other, those suffering from cancer. We pray for those suffering from arthritis. We pray for those suffering from diabetes. For those who are going through pains and sufferings at this moment, we pray for health workers and volunteers who risk themselves to take care of people. In Exodus chapter 15 from verse 22, the people of Israel were in the wilderness of shore and they were thirsty, no water for three days. 
And we are told when they got to Mara, the Lord turned the bitter water of Mara to sweetness. And he told them in verse 26, If only you will listen to me and follow my instructions, I will not afflict you with any of the diseases of the Egyptians. For I, the Lord, I am your Elah. I am Yahweh Rapha, the Lord, your healer. And in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5, the Bible says, By his wounds we have been healed. And so we plead the wounds of our Lord Jesus Christ by the power of the blood of the Lamb. We pray for all those who are sick at this point. We pray that the Lord, our healer, who sent his word and heal all our diseases, we touch them and minister his healing to them. Because he is the Lord who heals. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. And so what is God telling us in all of this? just want us to place his, our trust in him. Many people are afraid now. Many people are stressed. Many people are asking questions. How am I going to cope? I'm out of job now. How am I going to pay my bills? In the stores now, you can scarcely find food. How are we going to survive? The Lord is saying, just trust in me. In 1 Kings chapter 17, from verse 2 to 14, he provided food for the prophet Elijah by a raven. God sent a raven to feed him morning and evening with bread and meat, wonderful breakfast and wonderful dinner. And the Lord provided water for him from the brook. In John chapter 6, from verse 1 to 15, Jesus fed 5,000 with five loaves and two fish. In Exodus chapter 17, from verse 1 to 17, he provided water for the Israelites, even in the wilderness. Just trust in the Lord. First Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, Jehoshaphat said, Trust in the Lord and you'll be firmly established. And so, Lord, in you, we place our trust. In you, just say, no, it will never come near me. I reject it in Jesus' name. Faith is like saying with the leper in the gospel account of St. Luke chapter 5 verse 12. Lord, if you will. Pray with Jesus in Matthew 26 verse 39 when he said, Father, if it's possible, let this call pass me by, but not as I will, but your will be done. And so, Lord, we want to express our faith by just surrendering to you. Whatever you will, let it be. All we ask from you is peace. Your peace. Your peace, O Lord. In John chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus says, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Not the way the world gives. It says, do not let your heart be troubled, and do not be afraid. At this distressing time, Lord, give us peace, and let us keep praising you in the temple of our hearts and everywhere.
just want to thank you for your love. We thank you for your goodness. We appreciate you for your greatness. And we surrender ourselves to you. We have chosen to see this period as a time of renewal, as a time of prayers, as a time of purification. We just beg for your mercy. For the sake of the sorrowful passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. And teach us to trust in you. Teach us to rely on you. Fill our hearts with your peace. Grant healing to the sick. And to those who have died, open the gate of paradise. Let us continue to praise you in good times and otherwise. And at a time that the peace of the world has failed, may we experience the peace of your kingdom. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. I will say of the Lord.